Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to talk about this month's big holiday. Holiday? What big holiday? Flag Day? Uh, <clears throat> it's called Father's Day. Remember that one? Oh yeah! Oh no! I completely completely forgot to get you something. Don't worry about it. What do you mean, don't worry about it? Don't you want a gift or something? I don't need anything, sweetie. You are more than enough for me. Really? Trust me, I'm good knowing you love me. Wow, no present needed. Awesome. Whew. That would never work for mom. I know. Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with my lovely assistant and wonderful daughter, Sadie. Hello. And today, we're going to talk about the Father's love. The Father's love. I like the sound of that. Yeah, with Father's Day happening this month, I thought it'd be a good time to wish all the dads out there a happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. And it's also a good time to talk about our Heavenly Father and how much He loves us. Yeah, how much does he love us? That's a good question, because you know how much I love you. I have to admit, you're a pretty good dad. And it, pretty good? You used to say I was awesome. That was when I was six. I'm a teenager now. You better take what you can get. Good point. I'll take it. I still think you're pretty awesome, but don't expect me to say that in front of my friends. Deal. So when you've got a good dad, it's pretty easy to picture God's love. But what about those kids who don't have a dad around? Or maybe those kids whose dad didn't do a very good job. Huh, I never thought about that. Yeah, they may not completely understand God's love. Yeah, what do we do to solve that? Well, let's take a look at today's verse. It comes from 1 John 3.1, where it says, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Interesting. What does the word lavish mean? Oh, well, lavish is another word for sumptuous or elaborate or, or luxurious. Huh? How about in English? Oh, well, lavish is another way of saying God likes to give generously to us. Really? Yeah, if we know God, we're considered his children, and he likes to give generously or lavish us with his love. Wow. That means I can get just about whatever I want. Awesome! It's like Christmas in June! Hold on now. It doesn't mean you can get whatever you want. It doesn't? No. When you were five, you wanted to play ball out in the street, and I had to say no because I loved you. I didn't want you to get hurt. And even if you got mad or cried, I still loved you enough not to give you what you wanted. Oh. That doesn't sound very sumptuous, elaborate, or luxurious to me. Well, sometimes God shows his love for us through his protection for us. Let me demonstrate this for you with a little object lesson I like to call, Pop Goes My Heart. What we're gonna need is two balloons, a marker, some masking tape, and a pin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow up this balloon and we're gonna pretend it's you. So I'm gonna write you on the side of it with this marker. And then this needle is supposed to be dangerous things in life. What do you think will happen if this needle comes your way? Oh no, it'll pop. You're right. Pop goes your heart. But with the Father's love, he wants to protect you. So let's try it again. I'll take another balloon and write you on it. I'm gonna pretend that it's you. But I'm also gonna write the Father's love on this masking tape and place it around you. Now watch what happens when danger comes your way. It doesn't pop. Wow, that was amazing! But what about the kids who don't have a dad around? Well, even if you don't have a dad around, or maybe your dad kind of messed up, we can still count on God, our Heavenly Father, to protect us and to lavish us with His love. Let me show you one more example. See this little bowl of ice cream here? Yeah, it looks pretty good. <laughs> well, God is better than pretty good. He wants to lavish us with his love. That ice cream's missing something. 
Yeah, how about a little whipped cream? Exactly. Only I don't want to give you a little whipped cream. I want to lavish you with it. Wow, keep lavishing, keep lavishing. <laughs> and how about a cherry on top? Oh, wow. I think this has just become my favorite object lesson. The father's love is an amazing thing. So Sadie, what have you learned today? I learned that God is our Heavenly Father, and if we know Him, we are considered His children, and He wants to give generously to us. Exactly. And even if we don't have a dad around, or maybe our dad has messed up, God the Father is always there, and we can count on Him. Very good. Now, one last thing. What's that? Well, it seems like almost every episode of Family Moments ends with me getting like water poured over my head, or pop in my face, or something crazy happening. But today, with all that delicious looking ice cream, and that sumptuous looking whipped cream on top, I can honestly say, this is one time where I'm not gonna mind actually being the one that Hey! What is that, guys? We'll see you around.